Alright friends, we are right in the middle of utilizing the writing process to write longer opinion writings on our favorite seasons. Yesterday, you should have finished your plan by choosing your season and brainstorming four different reasons. Now, we are ready to start the next part of the writing process. So let's pretend we are moving our clips down to the draft poster. We'll be working on a draft of our writing for a few days as I teach you a few different parts. Today, we are going to work on just one part of our draft called the introduction. Previously, we learned about introductions from the opinion writing video that we had watched. I made a plan for my writing, so now I'm ready to write my draft. I'll start with an introduction. An introduction is the very first part of your writing. Introductions should do a few important things. They should hook the reader, name the topic you are writing about, and tell your opinion. I'll start with a hook. I like to hook the reader with a question. Since the tale of Peter Rabbit is about animals, I'll ask the reader, do you like books about animals? Now I need to name the topic, which is the title and author of the book. If so, you should read The Tale of Peter Rabbit by Beatrix Potter. Last, I need to tell my opinion. It is a really great book. That's it. She mentioned that you can hook your reader with an interesting introduction, like a question. That is one strategy for an introduction, but I'm actually going to teach you three different strategies today for an interesting introduction in your opinion writing. Here is a poster that would usually be hanging in our classroom as a reference while we are learning about opinion writing. As you can see, there are actually three ways to write a strong introduction. First, you can ask a question like, do you love learning about dinosaurs? Next, you could share a strong feeling. All about dinosaurs is the most exciting, interesting movie I've ever seen. Last, you can tell an interesting fact. Did you know the smallest dinosaur weighed less than seven pounds? So you can choose which one of those strategies you would like to use for your opinion writing. I think that I'm going to stick with asking a question. My introduction question says, do you like seeing and smelling flowers bloom? then you might like the season spring. That's all I have to do for writing today. If you feel like maybe you didn't write enough and would like to do more writing, I encourage you to spend more time free writing, just like we would if we were back in our classroom. Now, remember, you shouldn't work on this story anymore because we are going to keep doing that work together. But you can look back at previous stories and add more details to your pictures, add more details to your words, or start a new story. Remember, in writing, when we are done, we've just begun.